Hey guys, welcome to the LA Dodger Dog Show, part of the Dodger Yard Podcast Network. I am Alan, the LA Dodger Dog. Thanks for joining. You are either on audio or video. We are on both places. This is the place to get to know your favorite Dodgers super fans. We're going to interview a ton of them. We're going to get to know them on a personal level, maybe learn a few things that you didn't know of them before. Be sure to watch the videos for most of these because we will have them in costume. They will show us their memorabilia and it's so cool to see. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at the LA Dodger Dog. Follow the show at LA Dodger Dog Show on Instagram or Twitter. Our first guest is Weenie Dog. Yes, the Weenie Dog. You may have seen him in reserve level. He dresses just like me. He's a great guy. Make sure you're following him on Instagram. He goes by the handle at Weenie Dog, spelled W E E N I E D W A G G for all of our listeners. Like I said, you've seen him in reserve. You've seen me in left field pavilion. Let's put those together and get them on the show right now. How you doing, man? man? Thank you for having me, man. I'm so lucky to have you here, man. I mean, you're we're like copying each other here. We're like (laughs) twins, man. We're twins. We are twins. But you're the super dodger dog. You're the super dodger. I'm just the all beef. That's all I am. (laughs) There you go. I got I got the cake. I got, you know. (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I love it. Can, tell yeah. me, how did you come to doing this? You know what, Alan? Uh, I think I've been doing it. Well, I started doing it back in 2015. Okay. Uh, it was just for something as fun, you know, something for me really to go out and, and cheer for, for our boys in blue. I, love uh, it. I had I had the suit, I had the cape and the hat. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put it all together and see what happens. Yeah. So I'm walking into the stadium, freaked out, you know. But as soon as I walked in through the gates, it was like blue heaven on earth, you know. So oh that, yeah, man, that was the birth of it. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, and what were the first reactions that you got? You know, uh, so uh, I I was a season ticket holder, uh, okay. and so when I first walked into my area, people were like, you know. I know this guy. I know this guy. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I started f- high-fiving people around my, the area where I sat. Right. And, uh, and, and pretty much the fans are the ones who gave me my name, really. You know, people were just cheering, go weedy, go weedy. <laughs> and so, you know, we're, I'm Mexican. So weenie, a hot dog, we call it weenie in Spanish. You know, right. and weenie... Oh. So it kind of just stuck on it and kind of vibe together, the fans, the reaction, and here we are. That's cool, man. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I can somewhat relate. I've told the story. Some people might know it. like, yeah. And I'll tell you because you deserve to know. You started in 2015. I started in yeah. 2017. So you're the, you're the OG. All right. Uh, all right. So, you know, <laughs> you got rights on the hot dog. But uh, it was um, Halloween on the World Series in 2017. Yeah. And I was just looking for a costume at the costume store that same day. And then I find one and I tell my girlfriend, you know what? There's a hot dog here. There's nothing available. Yeah. I might as well wear as a, this hot dog costume and see uh, if I uh, can see a Dodger dog. Okay. And I'll bet there's like 20 other guys dressed like this. <laughs> you know? But it could have been just you and me because I bet you were at that game. I was at that game, man. And guess what? <laughs> I saw you. I saw oh, you. No. The- before I actually saw you, people would be like, hey, I saw you at the stadium. You know, there was nights that I couldn't make the games. And I'd be like, no, you did it. No, oh you did God. it. You saw my twin. It was, it, it's not me. <laughs> so on Halloween, I, I saw you, man. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, the more the merrier. You know what I mean? That's so <laughs> cool. That is so cool. And, the, on, and on my side, too, when I went through security one time, I don't uh, wear this to the game. Yeah. I'm a little embarrassed. I'll be, okay. <laughs> I'll admit it. Um, yeah. But I go through security with it in my backpack. And the security okay. guard's like, dude, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't have that. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I'm myself. I'm Alan Estrada uh-huh. on my Instagram. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, yeah, cool. Cause, you know, like there's someone else who dresses. I'm just going to keep that up. And uh-huh. hopefully he's like, oh, that guy was great. So yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> well, <laughs> like I said, oh the more the barrier, it, it, it's 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 all good. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, you know, we want to get to know you. I love right. the outfit. It's so cool. So you, tell man. me, like, 
uh, how did you become, or how did how did you become a Dodger fan? Well, I, I I've been a, a lifelong Dodger fan, really. I think that most of us who 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 have that love for it, you know, the ones who dress up, even the ones that wear regular clothing. I think for me, I I, I grew up as as a child on both sides of my family. My grandfather, on my tata, we call him on, on my mom's side. He he's been a fan always. We'd watch, uh, we'd hear the games in Spanish over the radio. Awesome. Uh, on my grandmother's side, we'd watch the games on KCAL nine. Yeah. So <laughs> way back when. Yeah. So it, it's it started like that really, and uh, you know, as I became older and grew up and grew into it, you know, it's just it's just, it's a passion, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> that is so cool, man. Yeah. So yeah. Were you always going to Dodger games when you were a kid or like, did you just you know, listen to them? You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. Uh, so as a child, uh, I, uh, I would go to Dodger stadium, but it was always for religious beliefs. I'm not going to get into those politics, yeah, but no I will problem. say that, uh, that I went to many assemblies for those who, who know what I'm talking about yeah. as a child, you know, we couldn't afford to go to the games, but we couldn't afford to go to these, to these, uh, assemblies as they call them so right. it, it it was like it was like heaven for me really you know i we'd go to the stadium as kids uh we were supposed to sit there and listen to sermons i would sneak out to the restroom and tour the whole stadium by myself oh, i'd come man. back yeah yeah so that's as a child that's that's how my experience was at dodger stadium it wasn't until i grew up and, and you know started doing things on my own that I started, you know, taking off. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's no secret. You know, the Pope himself has gone to Dodger Stadium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know? absolutely. So has Alton John. You know. It's a magical place. It's a it's magical, magical place, place. Absolutely. It, it's the place to be. So, yeah. no hating yeah. on that, brother. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it really is blue heaven on earth, as Tommy referred to it. You know. Absolutely. You know? And what's your favorite Dodger memory from all these years? Uh, you know, again, I, I think that as a child, being able to experience the behind the scenes of the stadium you know I'd walk around and, and I could hear the players playing although they were out at, at, at going away games I, right. I can now I can feel it you know I think that one of my favorite memories uh, when I grew into the weenie dog was meeting Tommy Lasorda now that you mentioned him uh, I, I got the privilege and the honor of meeting him uh, in costume. I was wow. freaking wow. out. I'm in line, oh, you know, waiting to meet him. And he's like, young man, in my entire year with the organization, I have never, ever seen something like this. You keep <laughs> it up, man. I, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. That's right there, man. Absolutely, right man. There. And, and I want to show you something real quick. Show me. Uh, yeah. Now, for the, first... for the audio audience, I'll try and describe it, too. Yeah, absolutely. So my first uh, uh, weenie dog hat, uh, it oh, was man. this hat. And yeah. I don't know if you can really see, but uh, Tommy Lasorda. Oh, it's autographed uh, it's, by Tommy Lasorda right on the bill of the cap. So, that so it's, is uh, awesome. You know, so it's something, it's a keepsake, of course, and it became part of my 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 costume. I yeah. always wore that, but now I have to wear the, you know. I gotta we, gotta, we gotta do it right there, buddy. <laughs> yep. We gotta sport it, man. Uh, absolutely that's one of my my favorite memories of uh of the stadium yeah, yeah absolutely that's so cool uh so like you said you were a season ticket uh, holder so yes. how many games did you attend the season you know uh back in 2015 i'm pretty sure 16 2016 uh i did about 68 games uh that whole season uh i mean wow. i was going non-stop non-stop um, yeah I, I went to many, I took advantage of it. Before I became a, a season ticket holder, people would be like, why aren't you a season ticket holder? You're there, because I was there all the time, all the time. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the, the seasons that I made the most games, yeah. That's impressive, man, 68 yeah. games. That's a yeah. lot of games. Yeah, That's it, was, cool. it, was, it was a fun year, for, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's always a good time there. I yeah. mean, no matter if the team is winning or losing, as long, especially Always. as a season ticket holder, uh -huh. you make well, you make your little family there, oh, right? It's home, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, it is home, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly totally, how, 
Oh, I'm sure a lot of our listeners and watchers feel that way too. Oh yeah, Absolutely. man. I think we all share the same passion. We all feel the same way. Uh, I think that that's a bond that we all share together. It, it's like nothing else really for me, especially. And Absolutely, I'm sure everybody feels the same way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about rituals. So okay. baseball is kind of superstitious, right? Uh-huh. So we got someone like Nomar say he would yeah. back out of the plate. He'd do his little dance and everything every time, right? Or yeah. we got Puig licking the bat. Do you <laughs> have any rituals that you do to bring on a win? Like, do you wear the same jersey until they, you know, until they lose and you, then you wash it? Or th- what do you do? You know, uh, I have, I, I, for me, it's being in costume, really. Uh, okay. To me, that's my thing. That's, I, I feel that it brings the guys luck. You know, uh, it's the vibe that as soon as I put this costume on, uh it, it, it's transcending uh oh, so man. i think that that's really my my ritual you know as soon as i throw this this the cape the cape foot seals it off for me as soon as yeah. it's on it, that that's the vibe absolutely <laughs> do you feel that you become this other person when you put this thing on you know uh it's kind of backwards for me you know really? uh, I feel like when I put this costume on, it, I become more shy. No I, way. I become I become more shy, but at the same time, you know, I'm out. You'll see me at the stadium cheering, yelling, but I I think it's the Winnie dog that takes over, really. You yeah. know, uh, but I, I I tend to be shy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to get a lot of fans interacting with you too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So you know. It, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know that I get asked for like a picture here and then, but man, uh-huh. you being the, you being the, the one from 2015, I'm sure you get it left yeah. and right. Oh yeah, and, man. Uh, it, it's nonstop. It's nonstop, but it, <laughs> it, it, it's fun. You know what I mean? It comes yeah. with the territory of course. Um, I never expected this to be what it is now where we're at now. Here we are, you know, one-on-one right. talking to each other. Uh, right. I, and I to never all the people. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. But no, like to all the people who follow you and who follow yeah. me, and yeah. they might know be like, okay, these guys do these guys know each other? <laughs> you know? That's yes. yeah. We know each other. We talk <laughs> on Instagram. We Absolutely, have got the yes. same design of sticker. You can might be able to see them over here on the Dodger Stadium poster I have. I see it. I see Vinny it. Mini Dog is the guy who introduced me to him. His name is Bocadillos on Instagram. He does yes, amazing sir. work. That's kind of mm-hmm. how we got introduced to each other, I think, right? Like right. that's the yeah. first time I reached out. Yeah. But yeah, we're good with each other. Like I said at the top of the show, always bad. Always. he's the super Dodger dog. I'm the all beef. <laughs> we're gravy. Thank, it's all good. You. We're relishing this moment. Totally, man. We're, we're Dodger <laughs> dog brothers right here. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Oh, and speaking of, do you uh, prefer grilled or boiled? Dodger I have to dogs. do it grilled. I got to do it grilled, man. Uh, Check yep. me out. Check me out. Bam. Yeah, man. I know you're in the reserve <laughs> section. <laughs> yes, sir. Got the, yep. <laughs> I got it. I got the marks and all. <laughs> That's another difference. He's got the grilled. I guess that makes me the boiled. <laughs> Little bit for everybody. <laughs> oh, man. And it fits because in my section, or not my section, but where I usually sit is Lefty yeah. Pavilion. For years, yeah. that section was locked off, right? Uh-huh. It was yeah. not accessible unless you had a left field ticket. Oh, yeah. And for years, oh, yeah. we never got the grilled Dodger dogs. We wanted it. Uh, uh, and you sat in reserve. You got the grilled Dodger dogs. So <laughs> it just makes sense, man. Yeah. So <laughs> what does your family think of this? You this know, my, my family, they, they love it. I have, I have six nieces, man, all girls. Uh, the older ones are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they love it. The little ones. Uh, I, I've taken my nieces to Dodger State. I think I took all of them uh, at some point. Uh, the little ones, uh, uh, one one of my youngest nieces, when we get to the stadium and I'm putting the costume on, she's like, oh, my God, Theo, are you really, really going to put it on? She <laughs> <laughs> was, you know, shy, embarrassed, I guess, if you will. But but my family loves it. You know, uh, uh, it, again, I think it's kind of like a... a representation of all of us you know at dodger stadium for for the ones that can't be you know right my grandfather that he's gonna be 94 this year 95 Amazing. he can't make it to the stadium so it's like it's a representation yeah 
you're out there for him. And I know he roots you, uh, the team on, and he, he loves oh, yeah. through you. For oh, sure. yeah, man. And he's still a loyal fan. He's still on it, uh, you know, watching it. Yeah, absolutely. How cool. He got to experience or watch the team win another one. He did. Yeah. Wow. Where were you when that happened? Like, you know, did, I, yeah. I live, I live in Palm Springs. I don't know if we even touched base on that. I live in Palm Springs, California. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. And you made it to 68 games. 68 games, man. After Jesus, work, that's dedication. Work, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll still do it again. I'll still do it again if I have a chance yep. to. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Tell me. About, so you were saying you live in Palm Springs. So, yeah. So World Series game. You know, I, I watched it here locally uh, in town, in my hometown. Uh, we, you know, everyone's rooting for the Dodgers. All Southern California. I think all California really rooting for the Dodgers. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and, I got to go to, to a local bar and, and, and watch the victory, man. Watch, watch an amazing that's, moment. I'll never great. forget it. Man. I'll never forget it. I think I lost my voice, like all of us fans, really. <laughs> uh, there's videos of people. I, I don't know whose phone's on me, and honestly, because I went in costume and all. Wow. Uh, it, it was amazing. It was, oh, it was, my gosh. <laughs> and you did it in costume. That's dedication, in costume. man. You know, I had of to. Of course, because they have to win. So exactly. Yeah. So it, I get it. Those lines that I was throwing down, man, I had to. You mm-hmm. know? <laughs> that so cool. So so when we talked before, just before this interview, um, you were telling me about your family designing a sticker for you. I don't know if you can how close I mean, you can see it. Yeah, uh, so that is cool. So that one of my awesome. nieces, uh, she uh went to graphic design school. Yeah, and uh and she wanted to do it for me. She's like, I, I have, I'll, I'll hook it up. I'll, I'll make the design or whatnot. Uh, and, and that's what she came up with. So that was that's uh, awesome. That was the birth, I would say, of my little sticker uh, adventure that I went on uh, this, this last year, 2020. Uh, that and is now so I, cool. I now have seven, seven stickers, seven different designs. Uh, it's, it's fun, you know? It's, it, it's fun. It, it, it's for my personal collection, I guess I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool, man. I love that your family is so supportive of it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, do, and they're all Dodger fans, right? Like, they know all the Dodger sport. Fans. We're all Dodger fans. Oh, we, that's we so cool. We it. We live it. We, we bleed it. All of it. Man. We that's have, awesome, from, man. We're all on both sides of my family. We're all Dodger fans. Oh, that's so cool. So, I this was the year where we couldn't be at the stadium physically. So, yes. the team allowed us an opportunity to be there in a different way and i know because i went through your social media before we met huh? Huh? you had a cutout of yourself i had a cutout man <laughs> let's check it out check it out check it out oh it looks just like <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you I love it. let me tell you the story of the cutout please so uh you know of course we couldn't be at the stadium uh it was terrible for all of us, you know, yeah. ourselves, everyone. Uh, it was uh, the year that I lost my season tickets due to the pandemic, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was it was a little extra saddened, sadness in, in my heart, if you will. Right. Uh, my birthday is during the summertime. It's right. It was right after the season started. The late season had started. And uh, one of my cousins, my cousin's husband, actually, he is... Uh, diamonds back friend so okay. you can imagine you can imagine all the conversations mm-hmm. you know the, the the shots thrown at one another during the season so yeah. he calls me and he's like hey cousin he's all like did you get a, a, a cutout and i'm like nah you know i, I couldn't afford it <laughs> I, I couldn't afford it a week later my entire family is like uh they they're calling up a, a emergency zoom meeting so okay what's right going on you know like they're all make sure that you you know you're there on time and all this stuff so it, it freaked me out like what's going on so they they all purchase they all got together behind the scenes my cousin's husband and a bunch of my family members and they they surprised me with the cut on that that is amazing right before my birthday i mean what what more oh, can I ask? Oh man! You know what I mean? 
<laughs> that's familia right there, man. man. <laughs> we had I had family from the Los Angeles area, all over here in in my area. They all planned it out for me, so that's amazing. You know, it, it was a blessing for me to know that I that I was there in spirit and 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 cardboard for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. Did were you like? Uh, do you have like? Did they hit you with a ball on your cardboard or anything at all? Oh or? man, I was hoping, man. I was hoping <laughs> <laughs> at least a little spank or something, you know. But it didn't happen. But you know, nonetheless, yeah. it, it, it's an amazing feeling to know that you know I, I was there during the month. Here, I, saw I, was, there. Saw, I saw yours there. You saw you saw mine. Sure yeah. did. I oh did, my man. gosh! I mean, he's right here. I got there you are. <laughs> Okay. Uh, they printed two of them, but I only paid for one. Look at so... you, man. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like twins there, man. You look like twins, right? <laughs> Mine was hit right here. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And what and you get? Nothing. I got That's another nice. printed. Okay. But <laughs> if you remember the guy who got hit twice. Yes. Right? Yeah. The guy who got hit twice, his name is Austin uh, okay. on Twitter and everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am, so he's like right you were here. Super close to him. I am one away from him. Oh, so wow. I was so close to getting hit by Mookie you, you, and Will. You should have gone like that, man. You should have gone know, like that. I know. Just move me <laughs> off to the side a little bit. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. It it made it like, and yeah. I didn't expect it to be where it was placed. But uh -huh. you know, it, it's great to be there. Yeah, to be Either there. way, man. Yeah, uh, absolutely. To be there. And just, and for us to have it and know yeah. what happened that season, exactly. that we won yeah. it all, it just means yeah. even more. It's exactly. so cool. Absolutely. You know, but if they offer that opportunity again this year, I mean, I would jump on uh, it again. But, yeah. you know, 11,200 fans, yeah. we'll, we'll do it. Exactly. We'll see what's up. But, um, but I think that we should all be, to all of us fans there, you know what I mean? They should fill all of it up. All yeah. of it. Come all on, Dodgers. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to play a little bit of this or that, okay? Okay. We already said you prefer the grilled Dodger dogs versus yes, the boiled, sir. unfortunately. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> do you do pregame beers or the $50 micheladas at the stadium? You know what, man? I'm guilty of doing both. You know what? <laughs> I, I do the pregame to save money. As soon as you walk in, like I tell you, it's a whole new experience, and you got to go and get one, man. So I, I, I do both. I do both. I think we all do it. Come on, guys. We all do that. <laughs> Absolutely. I know it. My, that left field and right field bar is always packed. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Believe me, I've been down there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know you're in the reserve section. That's where your yeah. home is, but really yeah. the whole stadium. But exactly. what is the best section to sit at in Dodger Stadium? I'm going to have to say reserve for me. Okay. So, and why is that? You know, uh, because I made it a home there, you know, throughout – Again, uh, for so many years, it's it's uh, it's the perfect view for me, the perfect angle. I sit uh, uh, reserve twenty seven, so it's kind of where third base is. Uh, nice. it, it, and then I get to see you from afar it, and all <laughs> the other, you know, all the, the other super fans that are out there, and it, it, it's my yeah. favorite spot. Oh, that's great, <laughs> man! What's the worst section in Dodger Stadium if there is one? There ain't none, man. All of them, it's it's all great, you know. There I've got it. I've had the privilege to sit in a lot of different areas, uh, and I've never had a complaint ever, and I don't think I'll ever will. No, nah, it's one of the most beautifully designed stadiums in all yeah. of baseball. Even There's if no I have to, to rebuild stand, it. even if I have to stand, I'm gonna stand. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know it. I know it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, do you park inside or outside? Outside. Outside. outside we're Over not going to reveal no no let's not reveal where the parking spots are because we want to keep them <laughs> there you go That's right. you guys are going to have to do your research guys exactly but it, it's there it's there <laughs> it's there but uh -huh. no, don't park where we need dog or i park we need those spots all right so do you try to get there for batting practice or you know just work it in the way you know uh throughout the years i've i've tried my best to to get to do the whole experience. Uh, but again, due to where I live in Palm Springs, yeah. due to my job, I do as much as I can. So, you know, uh, but I do make sure that I get there right before, you know, first pitch. So. 
to it. Absolutely. So good. Yeah. Absolutely. Other than Dodger Dogs, what's a must eat item and micheladas, of course, but what's a must eat item at the stadium? Uh, I would say the barbecue, Hawaiian barbecue sandwiches, I believe oh, they have down. Oh, yeah. Those are, those are bomb. Those, those are bomb. Are I, 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 I would take a walk down there, with, you know, after a couple <laughs> micheladas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you come down there, come to 307 and let me know, I, man. We're going to have to for sure. This you can chill right there with me. Absolutely. Well, man, I don't know how long we've gone on, but it's been a pleasure it's been so good to meet you, man. Yes, sir. Um, I appreciate you very Likewise, much. Man. And again, we are homies. There's no beef Always, between Matt. us. All know, love. Except All for this one enough. right here. But <laughs> 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 for the audio audience, you're going to have to watch this video podcast. It's a must watch. You're going to get to see Weenie Dog and the LA Dodger Dog chilling. Uh, but, man, I want to thank you again. I love thank that you're you having me, man. Thank, Thank you, you, man. I'm, Absolutely. Well, I'm humbled, uh, I'm humbled and, 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 and I'm, it makes me happy, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I want to thank our guest one more time, Weenie Dog. Thank you so much. You can follow him on Instagram. That's at Weenie Dog, spelled W-E-E-N-I-E-D-W-A-G-G. You can follow me at the LA Dodger Dog. You can follow the show at LA Dodger Dog Show. And be sure to give Dodger Yard a follow as well. They are at Dodger Yard for all of the latest Dodger updates. If you are a super fan and you'd like to be part of the show, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at the LA Dodger Dog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to rate us. We'd love a five-star rating from you guys. Let us know what you think of these. Take care. All right, cool. man. Thank you for thank you for making me feel comfortable and safe. <laughs>